Hello, everybody. Nice uh, sunny wash here with a bunch of birdies that have migrated here to the desert for the winter. They're taking their little ice bath here in the puddles. They're so cute. Um, wanted to film a little message this morning simply because, you know, we've spent the past year together um, talking about integration and we've actually focused so much more on the personal than on the non-duality um, aspect of this channel and and from that non-dual perspective you know what we wonder like are there fruits to our labor you know of the integrating the unconscious and conscious aspects of the psyche of that integration are there fruits of that labor because it's not easy work um it's just not um but it is very rewarding work very fulfilling work as well so so if you've spent the past year with me thank you um because you know, we've gone to some deep places together, I think. Um, I know I have. And the irony of all that is, is that, you know, the awakeness that we are was always here and it never changed. Right? And this integrating, um, this integration has just been a reflection of that wholeness that already exists. Of that being that is already not lacking anything because it is everything. It is the totality of life itself. So the energetics are just in the embodiment part of that being waking up and then reflecting that awakeness in these shifts that we've talked about for the past year, i.e., you know, trauma, shadow work, um, mental dynamics, stuff like that. Because for something that true to recognize itself and not reflect itself in you know, the dance that is life, um, that's just how things work, you know, it's how they are, everything that's out here, not out here, because there really isn't an inside and an outside, but everything that's in perception as a reflection of that awareness or of that being, right, and so when, um, when that awakeness that you are because you've always been awake regardless of the integration or the shadow work that's happening right you've always been here you've never not been here right you're always here right here right now this is it this moment this experience this breath this sound eternal you can't replicate it duplicate it make it into anything because the minute that it appears, it's gone, right? So, um, so this this integration happens in the realm of dreaming, right? But it's 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 just as real as being itself, because being is a reflection of dreaming is a reflection of that being that you are, that eternal presence, and so the the fruits of of this labor for me I will just tell you there are very many um uh but but one that that is is so liberating is that you know the darkness doesn't scare me anymore it doesn't scare me I go there willingly you know when people are ill or I hear that someone's died or or terrible things happen around me that horror and that terror of life being as it is it's not it's simply not there anymore because the the greater truth right of what it truly is of its eternal nature is recognized and that's not to say that there could be still some conditioning and some patterning and some shadow that's working itself out what i'm talking about is a deep inner recognition of the perfection and the wholeness of life so that is the fruit of this labor. That is the effect of um, this being flowering, right? Of consciousness blooming. And um, I 
and yeah, even if things are still wanted, they're not, they're not wanted in the way that this is wanted, you know, the yearning is quenched by this, by being, by presence, by truth. So if a seeking pattern is arising and trying to play itself out, it's very clearly d distinct in the sense that it's known that that's, that's a shadow, you know, that's a ghost, that's, that's still a remnant conditioning that, that doesn't have the full truth in it the way this moment has the way being true to the experience has the way that being honest has the way that recognizing what's truly deeply here has and then the other thing I want to say that I think is really important is that you know this whole idea of fixing things in the realm of of out here quote unquote um that is deeply recognized to be um to be a fallacy you know whatever it is that still feels a little off um it, it it's just in the, the energetics of the system you know that are realigning themselves so they're never really off that that being um soaks everything into its true heart its true nature of love so nothing really ever feels off because everything's always coming home to itself it doesn't leave very far it doesn't go wandering too far at least not anymore um so you guys want to see some snow on the mountains there see that? so what else so yeah we we've spent the the past year together um on this journey and um I might be shifting gears a little bit more uh into so back into the non-duality stuff because that's kind of what I'm feeling I feel complete with all the shadow stuff um if you don't um then just keep being present with your experience right which you always are because that is who you are right so just abide and um and there are just so many fruits to to the integration so many fruits okay i'll see you soon much love to you bye-bye